We're trying to find the elasticity of the demand function. We have 2p plus 3q. 2p plus 3q is 150. And these equations will be easiest to work with if you have q isolated. Just get do some cleanup first. So I'm going to subtract 2p from both sides. 3q is 150, take away 2p, and then divide by 3. q would be 50, take away 2 thirds p. Okay, to find the elasticity, the formula is negative p over q times by the value of q's derivative. And I'm given that price is $15, so I could fill that in, negative, price is 15, and then to find Q, Q can be built from this formula, so 50 take away 2 thirds times, plug in 15 for the price, 50 take away 30 over 3 is 10, so 40, quantity is 40, and then Q is derivative. This is where you really need to have it isolated for Q. So to take the derivative of Q would be the derivative of this. Uh, 50 goes to 0 because that's a constant. And then this is uh, negative 2 thirds. So the value of the derivative is negative 2 thirds. Now multiply all of that together. You get positive 30 over 120. But for elasticity, it's given as a decimal generally, so we'll, we will do 30 divided by 120. 0.25 is the elasticity number. Okay, how would a price increase affect the total revenue? So what I've got is that the elasticity is 0.25, and that number is smaller than 1. So smaller than 1 means little response. Little response is inelastic. So I can eliminate anything that isn't inelastic. I'm down to these two options. If it's inelastic, that means that the customers don't have very much response. And so a price increase will increase revenue. How will a price increase affect revenue? Since it's inelastic, an increase in price would decrease the revenue. No. Inelastic increase would increase the revenue, that one.